addressing actually cybersecurity challenge, you know, and um, as you know, this is becoming a big headache. You know, it started already, you know, a few years ago. It was exacerbated during the COVID. Uh, we we had during the COVID uh, an increase of 300 percent, you know, in cyber criminality, uh, and it hasn't really changed since. In fact, it's still growing today. It's a 250 billion dollar, you know, market if we cybersecurity. But the big challenge is actually that on the other side, uh, if if uh, cyber criminality would be a market. It will. We're talking about today of a four to five trillion dollars, you know, of damage. You know, I mean, it can, it's a little bit cynical to talk about a market, but in reality, if that would be a market, it would be actually the third big company in the world, in you know, a country in the world after the U.S. and China in terms of the economy. So it is a huge, actually, a huge uh, headache today. But what's coming? In fact, it's probably also has the potential to be an apocalypse because uh, everybody's starting to be aware to today, you know, I mean, at least at the level of uh, big companies in countries, you know, and, you know the, at the level of, you know, administrations like in the U.S., you know, they're already being very much aware, implementing, starting to implement, actually trying to implement solutions is to be prepared for the quantum computers attack. Uh, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when, okay? And there is a lot of, uh, you know, talking about and discussions about when it's going to happen. There are the pessimistic and the optimistic, you know? But uh, in any case, everybody, anything, any prediction in the future is always wrong in terms of, you know, when it's going to happen, you know, for sure. But um, you, the, but what is a, actually really a truth, you know, is that you can't just wait to the threat to happen. It will be too late. So you have to prepare yourself, you know, to because it's uh, complicated. You know, you need to deploy, uh, you know, I mean, sophisticated technologies to be able to be ready. Um, so it is. This is the big challenge, you know, right now. In fact, it's. Uh, to convince companies, you know, and administration institutions to to move forward, you know, and trying to adopt this technology that can make a big difference, you know, in uh, the way you 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 know to to bring your preparedness, you know, in fact, uh, your preparation to to a different level, where you will remove a lot of bit of stress, you know, to you know to your to operations in the, to your business if you have the right technology. Um, we, yes, innovation, we have actually uh, the foundation of the company is a technology that uh, currently was granted uh, four patents, you know, from the U.S. Patent Office. Uh, it's called a QRNG based on uh, a quantum electron tunnel effect. This is a very original invention because um, it, it produces and generates random numbers, pure random numbers, was their foundation, in fact, uh, of a... Uh, you know, the quality of encryption. The, the encryption quality is going to depend actually on the quality of the random numbers that are used to seed the, the encryption loop, you know. So this is a, this is a very, I would say, a, a very strong, you know, innovation because it will allow to have QRNGs and random numbers in all kinds of sort of applications, you know, because of the the ubiquity, you know, the flexibility of our technology, also the affordability of our technology. So we'll be able to create now architectures that would be, you know, funded, you know, I mean, a bit, a bit easily fundable. And also, I think that from an architecture point of view, they will secure, they will assure that you, you, you added actually impredictability into your architecture. So that means that you will have defenses that against the cyber criminals that will be uncrackable. I would say that uh, there is it's difficult actually to, to, to talk about just one milestone because I think we have a couple of ones, but probably the, I mean, the, the closest one will be actually uh, the deployment of our platform that is actually composed of entropy as a service associated with 
uh, what we call uh, you know post quantum you know encryption and classical encryption too. So that combination, you know, I mean, actually creates a double layer of uh, quantum technology protection. And this one is ready for deployment, you know, and one of the first uh, applications is going to be in telemedicine. So, and, 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 but it go, it can go way beyond any, I mean, uh, other verticals of the economy it can be in finance, military, uh, you know, I mean, energy, you know, defending uh, energy networks too, for example, there is almost an unlimited, you know, possibilities application to that technology because you free yourself from the device. You know, you're basically now, you don't have necessarily, you know, to use a device, you know, you're, you basically use the product of that device with entropy. You know, there's random numbers, basically the, the scientific way to describe them, you know, and their quality is basically by the entropy. I mean, the entropy is the measure, in fact, uh, uh, of randomness. 